So I just wanted to show you um, my next little project and the bits I'm going to use to do it. Um, basically, I want to make a bench for our entrance hallway where I can sit down and put my shoes on because <laughs> uh, I'm fed up with sitting on the stairs. So these are the bits I've got that, are, that I'm going to use to make the bench. It's going to be very simple, nothing complicated. I've got two bits of old cherry tree there that I've that has been drying out. Um, and seasoned so that's all ready to go I've probably had it in my shed for about a year and I've got an old bit of Dutch elm that I used on another project um, it's probably a couple of inches thick I'm going to you can see on the right hand side one I've already tried to start stripping the bark I'm going to strip the bark off the other one I'm going to cut it to size uh, finish it up with some sanding and maybe some varnish and fix the plank to the top. You've seen me use the belt sander on the on the legs of the bench now you know you use that for taking off quite a lot of material it's quite aggressive um you know you can really get stuck into some sort of big stuff and once you've 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 done that and you've taken it down a, a good level getting all the the heavy duty stuff off then you can sort of start using the uh, orbital sander so this is um you know where you'll start to get your decent finish you can have different grits of paper obviously the same on here if you have a look at the here that's quite a rough old grit takes a lot of material off when you come to the orbital sander you know you can start refining it down um you've got like a velcro's situation here where you can put different grades of sandpaper on so this is an 80 this is a p80 so that's quite coarse still um but you know you can go down through th through different types of sandpaper that's an 80 so as you come up to 120 so let me just show you an 80 so an 80 again quite gritty takes off a fair bit of material obviously nothing like the you know the sand sand on the uh, belt sander you can go up to thousands of grits you know they're really fine fine uh, sanding you know it depends on what, what sort of finish you want so we've cut the two legs sanded them down so the seating part of the bench it's quite rough at the moment i'm going to cut that down to size i'm going to sand it and then we're going to fix the top to the legs with these bolts just wanted to show you this um adjustment on the chop saw so i've gone to chop it down but i'm just checking the right angle of the blade to the material and it's slightly out so i'm gonna to have to adjust that um if you can see down in that corner there's a little adjustment stopper nuts there's one each side the stopper is hitting the top of the nut um and it's not going quite to 90 degrees so i'm going to adjust that down and just make sure that I, I get a nice neat 90 degree cut okay that's adjusted now
that's now gone over the bench with 80 grit, 100 grit and 120 grit. It's really brought out the grain absolutely beautifully now. Um, yeah, it's looking really good. So next step is to drill the holes uh, to attach to the legs, countersink the coach bolts, screw them in. Once we've done that, we'll be able to varnish it up. Mm -hmm. 